It's Max Imagination here. This time I thought it would be really cool to make something out of one of these cardboard tubes. So this pipe is made entirely out of cardboard. It feels just like wood. You can hear when I tap it. It's just like wood, but it's cardboard. So I thought it would be really cool to make a Bluetooth speaker out of a section from one of those cardboard pipes. So if you want to make one of these bad boys, let's get started. First, I'll start out by marking out the area where the Bluetooth receiver will sit. Then you're going to drill those two holes, and then drill a few more holes in between the two that you've just drilled. And guys, don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell not to miss any of my new videos. Okay, let's get back to the video. Now that you have the gap made, let's see how good the Bluetooth receiver sits in it. Now solder on a couple of wires to the speakers. Solder on two more wires to one of the speakers and these will be connecting to the Bluetooth receiver. Be sure to pull them out through the gap that we've just made. Now solder on a couple of wires to our battery. Now that you have those wires pulled through, you have two that go from the battery and two that go from the speakers. It's finally time to connect the wires to the Bluetooth receiver. I'll have a diagram popping up somewhere on the screen soon. Be sure to glue the battery somewhere inside of the pipe because you don't want it to be dangling around. Now it's time to secure the speakers to the entrances of the pipe. And here's a little tip, it's best not to glue the speakers in, but to screw them in like I'm doing right now, in case something goes wrong inside. Hmm, let's make a little cover for our Bluetooth receiver. Now you can either leave your speaker like this or you can decorate it by spray painting it which is what I'm going to do so let's cover all the outlets we don't want painted in masking tape.
Let's do a second coat of paint. When I play music on the speaker, it sounds like its nostrils are blocked, you know, that kind of thing. So it, to unmuffle it, let's drill a couple of holes on either side of the control panel. Once you pretty up those speaker holes, this is what the speaker should look like. Now the speaker should sound much better. Let's see a before and after. Alright my friends, that is all for this video showing you how to make a loud Bluetooth speaker from a cardboard pipe. I really like the color scheme that I chose, black and that cardboard color and those two O-rings. And by the way, this is my first ever Bluetooth speaker that I've made. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're new. Such a shame that you guys cannot comment at the moment because YouTube has disabled them due to their messed up policy. Go on down to my Instagram at max.imagination. You can comment there. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Peace!